Uh, Aloha Chair Martin, Vice Chair Anderson, and the Consul. Uh, for the record, my name is H. Doug Matsuoka, Hawaii Gorilla Video Hui. I'm strongly opposed to um, Bill 6. I did not submit written testimony because after all these years of opposing the, these bills, what, you know, what more is there to say? Um, you, you've heard it all uh, before. I do have um, some uh, comments, however. Um, okay, by now the council knows that the sit and lie laws, the criminalization of homeless, doesn't reduce homelessness. And in fact, there's a newly released survey yesterday that says just the opposite, in fact. And also I want to point out that the city just settled out $70,000 in attorney fees for, uh, to settle a lawsuit for Bill 54, which was probably the first uh, story property uh, sidewalk law. Now, I want to say I'm an old guy. I'm probably older than most of you. There, there are a couple of you that are, <laughs> that are getting up there. I've seen a lot of things. And when I was a kid, we had a solution to the homeless problem. One is we'd force all the homeless people out of sight, and then we'd pretend there was no problem, that homelessness was not a problem. And it worked really well. It worked really well so that we could continue ignoring the problem until now. It's too big to ignore. You can't pass laws like this and pretend the problem doesn't exist because people uh, will know. Um, now, the new survey says that the Oahu's homeless population is growing while already at uh, historic highs. And our failure to address the causes of homelessness have resulted in these sit lie laws. And, and you know, the public has to take some responsibility for this because we're the ones that are supposed to come here and tell you guys that these kinds of laws are unacceptable and that's what I'm doing now. Um, as I say, I'm an old guy and, you know, myself personally, I've always been able to take care of business. I've always done what I had to do to get by and it must have been successful because I'm an old guy and I'm still here, right? But I never thought, I never really thought it would get to this point where we'd be asked to turn a blind eye to the persecution of people, a lot of people, just because they were poor, just because they were homeless, or just because they had a substance abuse problem, or because they were maybe mentally incapacitated. I never thought it'd get this far. Um, the poor and homeless already live under a form of martial law. They don't have the same rights as us. They don't have a right to property. They don't have a right to their own ID in some cases. They don't have a right to find services because they don't have the ID. So I'm wondering what comes next after this, and I assume you're going to pass it, because you have to, because you're pushing the homeless into all the areas that your constituents are saying, well, you got them out of there, get them out of here. You know, you're going to have to do it. What's going to come next? What's going to be your final solution you know, to the problem? Well, I'm just saying as a media person that I'm willing to let your people know, and if you're thinking of re-election, if you're thinking that far ahead, or another office, if you're being farsighted, I'm, I'm willing to let your people know what you knew and what you did or did not do about the problem. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your testimony, sir. Members, any questions for the testifier? Not thank you, sir.